I am an active person. A lot of it has to do with the fact I, what transgender person isn't really active? Um, when we were young and we're trying to deal with ourselves, we become active people. We either dig into books, uh, you know, we have a poet amongst us, uh, science, you know, we all get into things. And I had a habit of getting into things way too much, I guess. Uh, but the nice thing is everything I do, I do with other people. Uh, you know, like Miranda was saying, you know, I, I work with the transgender groups in the area. Well, that's with her and uh, Allie Maddox's help locally. Uh, I play the bagpipes with the Greater Richmond Pipes and Drums. It was great. And I was able to transition and tell the band what I was doing. And they're like, so? <laughs> and uh, so things have been continuing. My bike group is the same way. Everybody's helped me. And there's been a lot of people that are helpful. So I'm not going to say I am who I am because of me. Uh, everything's because of outside people. We have, and I have lots of friends and I appreciate them. Bagpipes. How did I get started on bagpipes? <laughs> My wife bought me one practice channel. This is a practice channel uh, for a birthday <laughs> a few years ago. And I had this practice channel for almost eight months before I was able to find an instructor. And if you want to play bagpipes, you need to find an instructor. You just, it's not one of those things you can pick up and watch live videos at home. And it, it's kind of comical too, because any bagpiper that gets into it has more than one uh, practice channel. To be honest, like when I rode bike, I used to go 18 to 20 miles per hour, but then I learned that the cardiac heart rate for me is zone two is probably be just enjoying a ride, what I call a conversational pace, at like 14 miles per hour, all right? So if you want to ride with those 18 to 20 mile per hour, but stay in zone two, this bike does it, you know? And, and, and that way, this bike is actually healthier because you're still getting a cardio workout and you can get outside. And to me, it's like, get out there and enjoy it. This bike will walk itself. You can push a button next to it and it walks it. <laughs> you just take off. So that's a lot of fun. And you know, I got the bag on the back for a picnic lunch. So, and so Danny, this bike here, yes. I saw a lot of those when I was out in Germany the last time. And mm -hmm. it was just a lot of, I found that it was interesting because there's bike paths all over Germany. And what I saw was a lot of older couples had these e-bikes and they were biking from town to town on these paths, yes. just going everywhere. And I'm like, that's so cool. Like it, it enables them to still do something. And I'm talking mm -hmm. much older couples. I know, you can arrange tours. Fabulous. You can go like to yeah. England or Ireland and they have these tours set up where they provide the bicycles and they got like the uh, bed and bath, or instead of bed and bath, it's a bike and bath, I don't know, bike and bed. But you, you rent the bike and they ride from town to town and you tour the country. Uh, E-bikes are becoming much more popular. It's a great way to do it. We're seeing older people get out there. We're seeing heavier people get out there. And now they're, you know, okay, like I like to do Matron. Matron is a seven mile loop and I can do it in just under an hour which really feels good for me. And I know there's a guy out there, he's like five years younger than me. He takes an e-bike and does it twice. He does two laps in that same amount of time. And does he need an e-bike? I don't know. But they have races just for those e-bikers. So let them do it. So Danny, I'm gonna talk, catch up on some of the Facebook uh, chatter yes. here. So see, Chloe said, I ran into a VW bug on my first bike ride. Who needs brakes? Uh, I can vouch for that. I ran into a tree in my first bike ride, so that works too. Um, let's Please see. Don't uh, move. Yeah, uh, Louise Gale Richardson. Have. Yeah, <laughs> Louise Gale Richardson said, "I did do a flip in Galveston when I hit a streetcar track from the wrong angle, as you do." And that, yes, when you're going across railroad tracks, you definitely want to go absolutely across like that. You do not want to go as at any angle at all. And you will, otherwise you will just catch it and go. If the tracks cross the road at an angle, go out wide. Yep. Uh, and she said, but she was only 71 or 72 at the time. So it was fine. Um, let's see. And no, she said no breaks or no bruises. And that's kind of amazing. Uh, that is. And okay, that's, we're caught up now. So anyone else want to post questions? We will get to them. So just bring them on. And, uh, Danny, how much does it like, does an e-bike run? It depends. This one here. 
Uh, the manufacturer's suggested retail price on it is $26.50. So I think you can get them as cheap as $1,600, and you could probably spend $10,000 on them easily. Yeah. But you know, it's nice because you know you're buying this. This is you're not going to find this at Walmart. You know, go to the local bike shop, get a good one. This this is a live. I fell in love with the seat on this. Oh my gosh. Because uh, the seat on this has got some memory foam, like you wouldn't believe that all the packing in there is it's so comfortable. And it's the first seat I was able to get on post surgically and be able to say, ah. Oh. <laughs> um, I was, I, will. I caught this one on sale. The sale is still going on in Northern Virginia. If you got some contacts down there, I was able to pick it up for $21.50. With, with what Danny said, I would absolutely recommend anyone who's thinking about getting into biking, go to your local bike shop. Yeah. They're amazing. You will get actual expert advice and they will take care of you. Yes, you will pay a little bit more, but it's because you're buying quality gear and equipment and you don't want to mess around with a lot of this stuff. You will pay much more with all the other trouble that you have with something that's not from a local bike shop. so And they're not gonna try to sell you the most expensive bike they got. They're gonna no. ask you what kind of riding you're gonna do. They're really good about that. What kind of riding are you gonna do? You know, at least my local bike shops are. Never miss a single podcast by signing up for our newsletter at myfeminineheart.com.